reproductive system. The reproductive system in males and females is responsible for the production of hormones as well as the process of reproduction. One of the most important organs of the male reproductive system are the testicles or the testes. They are enclosed in a sac known as a scrotum. The scrotum helps keep the testicles at a temperature lower than body temperature. This is important since the sperms are produced in the seminiferous tubules located in the testicles. The epididymis is a system of convoluted tubes that connects each testes to the vas deferens. It is responsible for emptying the sperm into the vas deferens. The vas deferens is connected to the seminal vesicle and the prostrate gland. The seminal vesicle and the prostrate gland release secretions that mix with the sperm in order to form semen. The ejaculatory duct carries the sperm into the urethra located in the penis. The penis contains erectile tissue and becomes erect during sexual arousal. Cowper's gland located at the base of the penis prepares the urethra for ejaculation of semen. The female reproductive system is the counterpart of the male reproductive system. The outer genitals consist of the labia majora and the labia minora. The clitoris, like the penis, is composed of erectile tissue. The vagina meets the outer genitalia at the vulva. Just as males have two testicles, females have two ovaries. The ovaries produce hormones such as estrogen and progesterone. The follicles of the ovaries produce ova or eggs. Every month, one mature egg enters the uterine tubes or the fallopian tubes and travels to the uterus. Every month, the endometrium or the lining of the uterus is nourished with blood and fluid in preparation for receiving a fertilized egg. If the egg is not fertilized, it is discharged from the uterus along with the lining. This monthly discharge is known as menstruation. The uterus is connected to the vagina by the cervix. During sexual intercourse, the semen from the male penis enters the vagina. The sperm cells then travel to the fallopian tube in order to fertilize the egg. However, it is possible only for one sperm cell to penetrate the ovum or the egg and fertilize it. The genetic material from the sperm and the ovum combine and form the first cell of the zygote or the fertilized egg. The egg then travels to the uterus where it attaches itself to the endometrium. The fertilized egg 
develops into a human baby over a period of 40 weeks. During childbirth, the baby is pushed through the cervix and into the vagina through a series of contractions. The vagina serves as the birth canal for the human baby.